Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today we're going to be trying to uh, put together and paint up a Xeno Dragon from the Dungeons and Lasers set of interior modular sci fi terrain. Uh, Dungeons and Lasers is a pretty darn cool series of a lot of different terrain bits that you can really build and sculpt out however you want. And uh, the, the other rooms, there's all kinds of different things. There's uh, there's also fantasy stuff. This is the sci-fi version. Uh, and this is some of our, our our lasers line. And of course, they did send me out this awesome Xeno Dragon, as well as a bunch of other different pieces. But it's all very modular terrain. You can kind of build it and kind of do whatever you want with it. Um, and kind of sculpt the, the alien den or space station of your dreams. Now, if you want to learn more, about dungeons and lasers check the links in the description below we're going to have uh links where you can get more information down there and uh, pick up some of this cool stuff for yourself they also have like a lot of other dragons too uh and so this one is one of the most unique and most science fiction uh looking dragons out there being the uh, xeno dragon definitely bears some uh you know some uh nightmare fuel going on with this it's uh, i'm sure this might uh you know maybe even seem inspired by some science fiction uh monsters that you have seen in the past uh this one is definitely distinct though with those big old dragon wings loving this pose uh it's got um it's got that beautifully long tail it's uh it's 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 actually a really really nice looking piece and i can't wait to get some paint on this thing we're gonna try and see how well we can do it there's uh, there's just so much detail between all of these wings and 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 all of the scales and bone patterns on here and all of the claws uh, there's you get the small claws on the top there and then the big arms and then the legs uh there's even little little uh eggs down there on the base uh we also have um on the sprue here, we they give us some extra eggs too, so you can even put some extra, uh, extra uh, egg bits, uh, and as just kind of scattered terrain in maybe your nest. You know, maybe we'll run something like this with Star Wars Legion, and uh, or rather, uh, maybe we'll run something like this in Nemesis and have the 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 queen uh, sort of. Um, you know, be replaced by our Xeno Dragon. It'd be really, really fun. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do that. Also, uh, make sure you uh, enter to win a giveaway, the $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. So without further ado, let's get some primer on this thing and do some painting. All right, so here is our, our Xeno Dragon with, I did black as a primer and put some, a uh, little Xenothal, a little gray from above. And we're going to be doing some, uh, some airbrushing. I'm going to try to get this guy in some interesting colors. I'm still not exactly sure. Although if you've seen the thumbnail for the video, you probably know more than I do at this point because you probably know what I ended up with. Uh, so that's, uh, you guys have the advantage over me right now because sometimes when I do these, I just don't know what I'm going to do. I think I definitely want some blue in here. Uh, I think I'm leaning a little bit more towards purple and maybe some highlights of other uh, colors. Um, but then again, I might just change my mind in the middle bit of it. I'm also at the same time, I'm doing some multi-toned, uh, sci-fi terrain. So I did the black with some red in the middle and then some silver uh, edgings. And, uh, you know, so this is kind of how that's, this is turning out. And this is maybe some of the terrain that he'll be going with. Uh, I still did these on the sprue. So this way I can chop them out. Some, some one side's a little darker than the other side, but I'll be adding some extra highlights and stuff to that. But that that's probably for another video. I figure when I get the airbrush out, I might as well airbrush a bunch of things all at once. Uh, the humidity is not bad today. Uh, so I got my priming and some airbrushing done all at the same swoop. So let's go ahead and get this guy, uh, let's get, get, the, get some paint on this guy. Oh yeah, yeah, that's looking nice so far. Now, this is one of those times, I've, I've done the whole thing in blue, and I really appreciate the, the Zenithal highlighting because it really brought out a lot of different parts of the blue here. Um, you're getting to see lots of different shadings here, and uh, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with how like this first coat came out, and I almost don't want to do 
anymore, right? I, I kind of want to just leave it just like this. Uh, I'm going to let this fully dry and then uh, maybe come back and add a little more, uh, maybe just a hint more, but not, not very much because, uh, man, these wings, I love the way these wings look right now. I don't think I can possibly improve on that. So I think, uh, I think I'm going to be leaving it mostly blue. Um, I thought I was going to do more purple, but, uh, but now I'm thinking that's probably not the right answer at this point. All right, so I've let this dry a little bit more, and um, there's a few spots that are a little lighter than others, and so I took some, uh, what is it? I was just using Vallejo Blue for all of this before, but this is Vallejo Blue Green, and this is not even an airbrush paint, this is just a regular paint, um, and it's just a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna try this on some part. Oh man. Wow, that's, that is something. That is something. All right, so fast forward to after I put all that other airbrushing on here, I put some uh, a few other tones on the base, and then I decided I wanted to do some highlighting, and I've uh, I just done all kinds of extra bits. I, I, I've done bits of bone uh, for teeth and nails. Uh, I've, I've mixed some black in with the bone to kind of add some uh, additional, uh, you know, a little bit of contrast on parts of the wing that are extending out to the bone. As you can see it kind of like there, it really kind of stands out right there a little bit. And I've taken some more of uh, Vallejo Blue Green and just added highlights to certain parts of, uh, of the miniature itself, adding some bone highlights where I thought necessary and then some light blue highlights where necessary and then some black bits where necessary also on, uh, on certain parts of, of the model. Um, I'm pretty much like the way that this is coming out, like, like from a distance. It looks like so. Uh, those wings are really, really impressive uh, from above. And then from below, they're a little darker on the inside, you know. Um, and so I think that's kind of like if the light's hitting them from up here. You know, that's kind of the, the look I was sort of going for. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with how this thing came out. So uh, I'm really liking it. I still have to do a little bit more for the base. But, but uh, I've also been, uh, you know, while I was doing that, I also... Uh, went ahead and do like I'd let something dry and I was started putting together some of the the sci-fi terrain for Dungeons and Lasers too. So this is the the, the type of terrain that that it, it it can come with. You know, I've already showed you some of the uh, the the alien type of xenomorph kind of uh, like hive terrain. Um, some of these are still on the sprue, uh, and I've just kind of added. Uh, a little bit of red to some of the basing, and then I've added some extra red highlights along with the silver around the edges. Um, this one I did a little brighter. If we flip it over, uh, it's like, you know, just slightly different on one side and the other, but mostly I tried to make them standardized. And of course we can add more bits to this. We can add kind of uh, pieces kind of wherever we want to section that off. And of course we can add more detail on here too. I might add some black bits on there as well. I'm um, not 100% sure yet but this is good contrast against my rainbow terrain as well as all the other different sets. Uh, this has kind of got a little bit more of a futuristic look and also it's a pretty good contrast, I think, against uh, against this particular guy uh, because he is so blue compared to the silver, black, and red uh, of the, uh, the surrounding terrain. So I thought that that was also pretty cool too and I did. I, I didn't put as much red on the on the floor tiles. They're more black and red and uh, or, or black and silver with just a few slightly red highlights to kind of in, in a, you know to indicate like power kind of flowing through the station and uh, what happens when an alien kind of gets loose in your station. But yeah, so that's uh that's the uh, the Xeno Dragon from Archon uh, Studios and the Dungeons and lasers line let me know what you guys think uh, i had fun painting it and um it's uh it's gonna look really nice on display and i think it'll work really really well uh kind of proxying in for the queen for some of my games of nemesis i want to talk to you guys later thank you so much for hanging out big thanks to archon for sending this out and uh i will talk to you guys later uh, all righty see ya